Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Serrano. If you're new to the crew, I truly appreciate you for being here. Consider subscribing if you're a huge fan of budget technology like I am, but if you're already a part of the crew, So today we're going to be talking about this phone right here that I've been using for a few days now. And I kind of want to give you my impressions, how I feel about the device, some of the likes I do have, some of the things I don't like about it. Now just keep in mind the price of this device. It is $150, depending on where you get it, right? I'll leave a cheap link down below. But this is uh, the Samsung Galaxy A03S. Uh, you know in blue it comes in red it does come in black as well this is you know one of the most affordable devices in the lineup of the a series and it's kind of you know you know comforting to know that any single phone that you want to get in the price point of you know samsung makes a phone for every single body every everybody's pockets right depending on how large your pockets are depending on how small they are this phone is for those people who, like myself, you know, we budget our money from month to month and we want to save money, right? So this is a, a solid phone if you want to get updated from what you have now. But first, I want to talk about some of the things I like about this device. I also want to talk about some of the things that I, you know, don't like about this device. I'm going to keep it a buck fifty. The device, you're going to be getting phone calls. You're going to be receiving text messages and you know things of that nature and you're going to be able to you know listen to the earpiece on this device no issues whatsoever even the speaker phone did sound pretty clear right so it did sound really clear when i was listening to it as far as the call quality i was able to listen to my voicemails i was also able to you know um, respond to anything i wanted to like text messages but whether you're on the speaker phone or the normal mode of the phone it's gonna sound pretty good because you know the speakers do get loud now they're not they're not complete they're not dual speakers it's a mono speaker setup inside of it and you know what i'm saying so it's gonna be pretty loud but also kind of tinny so it's not gonna have like that deep bass and rich sound that we're used to when you deal with mid-range phones or higher up phones but this is a solid budget device right and one of the things I don't like about this device right off of the top is the fingerprint sensor. Uh, you know, the fingerprint sensor doesn't work whatsoever. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. That's uh, it's I only tried twice right here and it says that I had five unlock attempts. Now the facial recognition is great, but let me just show you what I'm talking about. So this is the device. I'm going to lock it and let me enter my fingerprint nothing so that's one attempt it vibrated and it didn't open two attempts three four five and then it only gives you five attempts and then it says you can't unlock it and i, I registered my finger i tried to register it two times it only let me register it once now the, the fingerprint sensor on here is really bad it's not good at all you know they it's better that they didn't even put it on the device like they did on the a02s so they, they might as well have should have just left it out because it doesn't work for either one of my hands. It doesn't work for my thumb and it doesn't work for my, my pointer. So no matter what I do when I'm touching that, it just doesn't open up. Look, five attempts. Now I got to use the pin. So that's something that's extremely annoying about this device is that you can't use the fingerprint sensor to unlock it. But the facial unlock works perfectly fine on this device. So I got to say that you know the facial unlock is good so let me just show you what i'm talking about so that works pretty much on 99.99 percent of the time but the finger unlock on this device is really cheap i guess they were trying to save a lot of money on the finger processor now let's talk about the overall build you get the dual nano sim slot with the sd micro sd card slot for expansion of the storage we get the 13 megapixel with the 2 megapixel for portrait and the two megapixel for depth um in the in and, and also we on the front we get a five megapixel which is pretty decent now there's no stabilization on the front or the rear i just want to throw that out there 
and the most you can go up to is 1080p 30 frames per second on the front and the rear so i just want to let you guys know that as well and we do get a qr scanner inside of the camera which is pretty cool i, I do like that part about it um i also do like the fact that in video mode they give you this like two times and then they give you this button that you can press to get to 10 times so i think that's pretty cool right um you also do get macro pro mode panorama food mode and deco pick and um i did notice i was false touching the device whenever i tried to reach across it my palm would hit the screen wherever I, my, my when my palm would hit the screen if i tried to reach my thumb across the screen <clears throat> and that usually doesn't happen this one touches buttons that you're not trying to press when you reach across the screen so just bear that in mind that you have to really have like um like you can't put your fingers on the front of the display at any point because it will false touch and it's not even like a curved display right it's not curved it's that 2.5 d curve but it's not like a real curve so you know that was kind of weird and we're also getting that 720 display on this device so it's 720 on here but like I said, it's going to give you the voice over LTE if you're using like, um, depending on what carrier you're using, right? I popped the SIM card in here and there's, there's, there's an Indian model, a European model, and then there's American model. So just also keep that in mind. They're also probably going to launch this out for Metro by T-Mobile as well and introduce it to the carriers, right? So that's something that's pretty cool as well is that you'll be able to get this device, just walk into a carrier. And literally, you could do like a prepaid plan with like, I don't know, Cricket, Metro by T-Mobile, depending on what carriers do it. But like I said before, this device will be very affordable um, when it comes to the price point. Now, what are the things that I want to talk about now? The battery on this device is actually really good. It's very good on this device. Uh, it's the fingerprint. I'm still not able to unlock that. And I have sweaty hands. I'm not sure if that's the reason why, but I tried my thumb. I tried my pointer. I tried my every single finger to un unlock it and it just doesn't register. So you might have to fall back on the face ID and the fingerprint. And this device, you will be able to get most of your apps on here. But one of the things is that when it comes to gaming, um, PUBG and stuff like that, Call of Duty Mobile, you know, games that I was normally able to play on my A02S very smoothly don't run as smooth on this device. Now this device does have 32 gigabytes of internal um, you know, I'm saying storage, three gigabytes of RAM. So maybe that has to do with it, but there is a four gigabyte model with 64 gigabytes of internal storage. So if you just wanted to grab that one, you, I would recommend it, right? Because it's going to perform a lot better than this one right here. So like I said before, um, this is going to be a pretty solid device for somebody in the budget level price as well. But battery life on here is really good. 5,000 milliamp hour battery lasts about two days just to be a complete buck with you. And as far as the software updates, um, I, che I checked the software updates and I downloaded it and I installed it today. And, you know, so we do get the latest software updates. We do get Android 11 and I'm going to go ahead and it does say we're on August 1st security level patch, which is really cool as well. So if you go into software info, it's going to tell you that we're running the 3.1 one ui core version which is kind of cool and android 11 on this device so you know that's something that's pretty cool to see that they did implement that on here as well with the newest latest software so you know the camera department it's going to be pretty it's going to be a pretty decent camera department in the low light the photos get pretty fuzzy even in, in for videos and for pictures but when it comes to decent lighting you're going to notice that the pictures give you really good quality especially with the wide angle in portrait mode and then also in the normal mode you're going to get some pretty good details on your face outdoors and indoors so i didn't have any issues with that um and even the cameras perform pretty decent for the price point colors looked pretty good uh you know uh it was pretty for the most part it was what i was expecting the macro camera came out pretty decent as well and like i said before it's going to be a solid device for this price now so we talked about the screen display. It's it's gonna be pretty, um, not the brightest one you've ever seen in the world. You'll be able to see it outdoors, but it's gonna be dim. When you're looking at it outdoors, it's kind of kind of be dim. It's not gonna be the brightest display I've ever looked at in my entire life, right? So 
like I said, you're going to get um, a really good battery life on this device. You're also going to get really decent cameras on this heat as well. It's accelerometer, light sensor, proximity sensor, as well as the fingerprint sensor, which is pretty much useless on this device. It doesn't work the way it, I, I, I intend it to be working. It's not fast. It's not even, it doesn't even respond to my finger. I don't know if my finger is too sweaty for it, but it just won't unlock the device five times and you're unlock it says right here you use your pin instead so i'm not sure why they put it on here if it doesn't even work but that's just another thing that we'll talk about in another video but the 6.5 inch display is pretty good you could look at it and you can watch videos on here youtube and things like that and when i was looking at the display for videos right the videos came out really good they were really solid i really liked the quality that i was looking at right and like I said before, um, it's not going to be the greatest in outdoor lighting. I'm just going to be a complete 100% with you. It's not going to be good outdoors when you're looking at it, but you will be able to see it still. So I just want to kind of throw that out there and let you guys know that it's not the best viewing experience. It's made of all plastic and we do got that Helio P35. And just to let you know, I wasn't able to play high graphic games, but I was able to play lightweight games something some some lightweight games and this device does have a pretty decent speed with the 60 hertz you can see right here it moves pretty decently quick and um things of that nature when you're looking at youtube you know you could you could pretty much see right here that when you when you put the phone on and things of that nature you can see let me just skip this ad right here but the device does have that beautiful display, so that's probably the biggest thing that I like about it. Also, it does kind of have a large chin on the bottom, so just kind of want to throw that out there, but that's like most phones, right? So, you know, you can see right here that the audio quality is pretty good. You also do get volume controls right here. And, um, you know, so I do like this for, for pretty much media content, you know what I'm saying? And things of that nature and um, just watching videos on this device, but you can see we got all of our toggles. We even got Dolby Atmos for when you're listening to audio through your headphones and stuff like that, right? But I just want to be 100% honest with you that this device right here, I don't believe is too much of an upgrade from the Samsung Galaxy A02s. I like my Samsung Galaxy A02s, you know, a, a lot better, right? Because the fingerprint sensor on here doesn't work. And um, also, that, you know, that just kind of turned me off, but it does have a headphone jack on here, which is pretty cool. And it's pretty much the same phone as the A02s with the improvement of the Bluetooth 5.0. I believe the A02s had like 4.2 or something like that, but it's pretty much the same phone. And I do believe that the A02s does have better gaming performance than this one. And um, I do have the four gigabyte model of the A02s, so that might be why, because this is the three gigabyte model of this phone. So I just kind of want to throw that out there, but we don't get NFC on here. We don't get, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, you know, NFC, we don't get, uh, what else? Infrared blaster, we don't get that. There's a lot of things that we don't get on here, but we still get a lot in the deal, right? So just want to be um, completely honest with you. So overall, my opinions of this phone is just, just mediocre, right? I would probably give this to, you know, a kid my grandmother, you know, a stepsister, stepbrother, something like that. But, you know, my father, not my father, I would want him to have something better than this. But um, even my stepsister, right, I would want her to have something better than this. But like family and everything. But um, for grandma, it might be perfect. For, for people who are older, it might be perfect because they don't really need to play games on here, right? They don't play games unless it's like solitaire or crossword puzzles or and in my case, I like to play Bomberman on this device, but um, or Bomber Friends. But like I said, it's not going to be the most uh, seductive phone when it comes to performance and you know, you know, you know, gaming and things of that nature. The camera is just decent. The display is decent. The performance is decent, but the battery life is really good, right? It's pretty decent as well. But um, like I said, you know, you'll be able to make phone calls on here, you'll be able to do your basic things on here, and you'll be pretty much be able to do your regular stuff on here. But do me a favor, if you enjoy the content and you like to um if you if you like content like this and you like 
budget technology make sure you do me a favor hit both the like and the subscribe button on your way out right show your support and appreciation also leave a comment down below let me think let me know what you think about the samsung galaxy a03s and i'm gonna get right back with you later